Hi, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com, and in this video, I want to go over some solar pond aeration options for the year 2022. You'll find all of these systems listed on our site at AmericanAeration.com, and along with a review of these systems, I want to go over a few basics with solar aeration, talk about alternative energy aeration uh, options that you have, my preference uh, of which way I would go when considering what to use in a pond, and then kind of some of the evolution that's taken place in the solar aeration market and uh, some of the offerings. I think it's been very, very promising as we go along here uh, in terms of their capabilities and functionality and reliability. It's, it's improved greatly over the years, so it's become a very viable consideration for people that have no power access anywhere near a pond. So it used to be that if you didn't have power near a pond, you were really limited in what you could do with it in terms of aeration. Windmills have always been around. I mean, even in the pioneer days, they were using windmills to, to generate a pump and, and create action, usually in pumping water, but it could certainly pump air too. And that's no exception today. Windmills are still being used. But uh, the solar evolution also has helped with that in terms of the alternative energy aeration options that are available. So really no power, no problem uh, these days. There are definitely solutions if you don't have power nearby. So we get the question often enough, what's better, a windmill aerator or a solar aerator? And in recent years, this has evolved for me to lean more and more towards the solar side. The reason for this is just consistency. That's the main consideration. Uh, windmills, if you have winds consistent blowing where you are or a breeze or whatever that's one thing but too often we've experienced very hot days with very little air movement very little wind and on those days you get no aeration whatsoever we've also had some issues with uh, damage from high winds or weather issues that have put a windmill out of commission for a while that's been somewhat challenging and so when I look at the solar side, they seem to have been more dependable on their durability, but also when the sun comes up, even worst case with what's called a direct drive solar aerator, which means it only operates during daylight hours. Worst case, that's going to operate on a daily basis, whether the wind's blowing or not. If the sun comes up, it's going to start to work. And so on a day-to-day -day basis, you get more consistency in terms of operation. The exceptions to that to where maybe solar doesn't make the most sense for a particular person two things if you have a lot of wind where you are consistently you can kind of bank on that as a possible um, support for a windmill aerator and then it might make more sense the second thing is if you are constrained by budget if money is the main issue or the main challenge and you can't spend the money um, on a solar aerator a good quality aerator you're left with two options. You could look at the DIY do-it-yourself route to try to build a direct drive solar aerator that's possible or you could look at a windmill and windmills tend to be less expensive than the commercial solar options that we see today. I do think that any air is better than no air. Any aeration is better than no aeration so you can keep that in mind and if it fits those criteria windmills could be your best option but otherwise everything else considered I would lean to solar solar has improved so much in recent years that it's hard to uh, hard to overlook it anymore their coverage and especially their depth capability has really gotten to be very good uh, Systems now are pushing 30-foot max depth capability, which historically with certain other types of pumps that were used previously, they couldn't go deeper than, say, 12 feet and do much of anything. And so it's really gotten better. The pump is the key component in these systems. And what you're starting to see is rocking piston compressors, which has always been my preference. It's the bedrock of the industry. Uh, all of our electrical powered systems, most of them typically use rocking piston compressors. They handle the depth ranges very well. Air output is exceptional, very efficient in terms of energy usage, and they're repairable or updatable by the customer themselves on site with a few simple tools. Every few years they might have to change some seals on and around the piston chamber 
change their air intake filter. But other than that, that's that's all that's involved in maintenance, and they can run for years and years. And so it's a great solution. Fortunately, we're starting to see some solar aerators, including rocking piston pumps, in the mix, and that's a great, great step. So you'll see part-time and full-time solar aerators available. Basically, part-time would be called direct drive, as we designate them. These run during the daylight hours only. And then the full-time are battery-supported systems, and they might run from 20 to 24 hours in terms of, you know, if you get some cloudy days, rain, snow, uh, overnight, they'll help with the battery backup support. One thing you want to check on with any of the solar aerators, and I'm not a tax advisor, won't claim to be, and don't want to get involved with that, but check with your accountant or tax advisor and let them know about your acquisition of a solar aerator because many of these, if not all of them, should qualify for a tech federal tax credit. In 2022, that's a 26% federal tax credit. That may change in subsequent years, but be sure to check on it and bring it up because it may save you some money on on the taxes. Um, the models as well, before we get into those, I want to make one final point. They are some of the best that I know in the industry. We've been involved with aeration for a number of years, almost two decades now. We've seen many come and go. We've had some come in that we were hopeful about, but in the end, they were not what we ended up you know, thinking they could be or should be. And so the lines were dropped and we've culled out the ones that we just didn't think were good performers or reliable or whatever. And so what you're left with, what you see on our website today across the board is the best of the best that we have found in the industry after years of working with these systems. Uh, and the solar aerators you're going to see today are no exception to that. They're some of the best that I know of in terms of performance and reliability and solid companies that back them in terms of their manufacturing. So we're going to run through these systems fairly quickly, and there's some common elements to a few of them uh, in, in their groupings. Uh, they use very similar pumps and a few nuances with each model, maybe an extra solar panel to help extend run times during the day, so forth. But, you know, generally you're going to see some commonality here. Coverages will change, though, as we add diffusers into the mix. One thing I want to mention, too, before we get rolling, in a very broad or general way when you're talking about subsurface aerators, keep in mind that the deeper you can get a diffuser in the pond, the more area it will affect. The more shallow a pond becomes, the less area a diffuser will affect on its own. And so you have to increase the number of diffusers in a shallow pond to turn it over adequately. That's a key point as, as we go through this, and I'll... Uh, I'll give you some examples here too. So the AA1 is a single diffuser, single panel direct drive aerator. It aerates ponds up to one acre in size. That coverage is rated probably from about 12 feet or deeper. Anything 12 feet or deeper, you can figure that this single diffuser will cover about an acre in pond area. As you lose depth, you you want to keep that in mind. If my pond is only five to eight feet deep, I might be able to cover a quarter to a half acre with this system. Uh, if I'm 8 to 12 feet deep, I might be somewhere in a three-quarter acre range. That's where I would use this single diffuser system. It has a 30-foot max operational depth, which is great. Quarter horsepower equivalent rocking piston compressor is included here with the cabinet and some other amenities in the cabinet. You've got one of the self-weighted oval membrane diffusers, which is nice because these self-weighted designs will be dropped into the pond, they sink to the bottom, and they stay on the bottom, which is exactly what you want. You don't have to add ballast to it. 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline, again, self-weighted. We don't use polyline with our aerators in, in the water, underwater line. We want something that is self-sinking, it stays down, and it is very thick-walled, meaning it is very robust and sturdy, so it will not kink. It's hard to damage, just very, very stout, and that's what we like to put in the water. The pump itself puts out 2.8 cubic feet per minute of air, which is excellent out of a single diffuser. Warranty on the AA1 is one year on the compressor, five years on all non-wearable parts, and 20 years on the solar panel. Here we have the AA1.2, which is a single diffuser, 
dual panel, dual solar panel, direct drive aerator. Again, same coverage as the AA1 across the board. The primary difference that you'll see is it's using two solar panels. These are 320 watt solar panels. And the whole point of this add-on is extended run times with the dual panels. Now, if I lived in a very sunny climate, uh, let's say Arizona, New Mexico, Southern California, places that see a ton of sun, a single panel probably will suffice. But in most of the country, and particularly for us in Iowa and in the northern United States, almost everybody we work with, I will usually suggest the very minimal increase in cost and add on that second panel because it'll give me more runtime throughout the daylight hours. It'll give me better run times during cloudy conditions, overcast, when inclement weather is around, or even in the winter with snowfall, we can get some operation with the dual panels. So it really helps in uh, extending those run times out. The AA2 is a dual diffuser. This is two diffusers with a single panel aerator. Again, it's using the same pump as the AA1, um, but it has two self-weighted diffusers. So its coverage area increases from one acre up to 2.5, maybe three acres max. If you can get down to 15, 16 feet or greater, you could probably push closer to three acres. But I would say in most cases around 12 feet and beyond, 2.5 might be as high as I would go on coverage. Um, two self-weighted diffusers, of course. It uses a single 320 watt solar panel. Weighted airline on this kit, we sell it separately because of the broad range of needs of the customer. This is using 3 8 inch weighted airline. Some may need more than a typical 200 feet or 100 feet per diffuser. And some people may need, you know, quite a bit more. It's just hard to say. So we let you order that independently for whatever you need. You don't have to spend any more or any less than is required. 2.8 cubic feet per minute of air again out of this pump and the warranty 1, 5, and 20 just like the other systems. Then we have the AA2. This is a dual diffuser, dual panel aerator again just like the, uh, the AA2 standard except we're adding in that second panel for extended run times. All other specs are the same. The AA4 is our last direct drive system that we carry and offer. It will aerate ponds up to five acres. Depth-wise, you're looking at probably, again, pushing somewhere 15 feet and beyond, 16 feet and beyond. You could cover up to that range. Uh, I would go about four acres on 12 foot or so, 12 to 14 feet, let's say. And then as you reduce that depth, your, your coverage is going to drop down. Probably its best use is going to be in ponds of maybe three to four acres, maybe 2.5 to four acres, and you're going to be in a workable range even as you lose some depth. It uses two of the quarter horsepower rocking piston compressors instead of one. Uh, four self-weighted membrane diffusers. It has a uh, two of the 320 watt solar panels. Weighted airline again is sold separately. Combined output on the pumps is 5.6 CFMs between the four diffusers. Warranty, of course, is the same as the others, 1, 5, and 20. And then the other thing about this system is it has, uh, or I should mention about all these systems, the post that you see in this photograph, and that was included in the other photographs, that is usually ordered, or you would supply that on your own. In other words, it's, it's uh, not something we would typically ship with these components. You want to keep that in mind. Uh, if you do need one, they are available, but they are very expensive to ship, and so we, we prefer to suggest you find that locally to save everybody money. But, um, but otherwise, everything else is included. The kits are complete and very, very solid in terms of direct drive, solar options. They're, uh, they're a fantastic, uh, fantastic system. Next, we'll get into a few of the battery-supported aerators. These extend your run times out considerably with uh, using 12-volt deep cycle batteries as a backup to the solar power. The single diffuser, Solaire, uh, single panel operator, or single panel battery-supported aerator, will aerate ponds up to one acre and up to 25-foot max depth. It uses an EcoFlow 24-volt compressor, one Duraplate self-weighted diffuser, one single solar panel, and then it has two of the 12-volt deep cycle batteries, 
includes a 100 feet of half inch weighted air line. The pump itself puts out 2.0 CFM, so that's pretty good out of a single diffuser. And then the warranty is two years on the compressor and lifetime on everything else. The Solaire du dual diffuser single panel battery supported aerator is an upgrade from the one diffuser model. It will cover a two acre pond. Again, probably as you get the diffusers down to about 12 feet of depth, you're going to hit that two acre range of coverage, 12 feet or greater. Uh, has a 20 foot max depth operational depth and uses a single EcoFlow 24 volt compressor. Includes two of the Duraplate self weighted diffusers, a single solar panel, two of the deep cycle batteries, 200 feet of weighted airline, and you're splitting your CFMs between the two diffusers, which is, is totally fine. Warranty two years on the pump lifetime on everything else in the system. And then we have the Solar 3 Diffuser Array. This is a dual panel supported aerator. It aerates ponds up to three acres in size and again 12 feet or deeper as usual probably will cover that three acre range as you lose depth. You want to factor that in and uh, probably work in ponds from 1.5 to three acres in size. 25 foot max depth. It uses two instead of one. It uses two of the EcoFlow compressors, has three Duraplate diffusers, dual solar panel, and then bumps up to four of the 12 volt deep cycle batteries. 300 feet of weighted airline is included in this system, although you can get more additional rolls. 100 foot rolls are available at a time, so if you need to add on, you can do that. 4.0 cubic feet per minute of air output combined between, between the two compressors and warranty, of course, two years and lifetime. And finally, we have the Solar 4 Diffuser Dual Panel Aerator. This aerates ponds up to four acres in size, 12 foot deep or deeper, and has a 20 foot max operational depth. Two of the EcoFlow compressors, four of the diffusers. We've got a dual solar panel, four of the deep cycle 12 volt batteries, 400 feet of weighted airline. This is a half inch weighted airline, by the way, four cubic feet per minute. Uh, air output combined between the two pumps and then the warranty two years on the compressor lifetime on everything else. And so between these options, we've got a solar aerator that will cover virtually any size of pond. The nice thing about solars too is if you have a very large body of water, you can put an array of these aerators, these smaller aerators around the perimeter of a pond like that or a lake, and you can actually aerate a big body of water with uh, an array of these solar aerators and it's it's actually sometimes the best way to do it whether you have power nearby or not because it keeps the airline shorter you're able to have high flexibility on the placement of the pumps and and they go the airline goes directly out to the diffusers and provides very good coverage in in the pond or lake so a lot of versatility with these systems they as i said are very good workhorses for us we've had very good luck with them and the main thing I would say as you get into the larger systems like this four diffuser, for example, when your pond exceeds 1.5 to 2 acres in size, I really advise people to do an aerial mapping with us on it. We use Google Earth and we ask the customer for some basic information, obviously the location of the body of water so we can find it on Google Earth. We'll ask you about depth ranges, what you're seeing in the pond, and we'll ask about, you know, either power supplies or open areas where we could actually put a solar system for good exposure to the sun and access, easy access to the water. Um, but we'll lay out systems using aerial mapping, which will provide very accurate and ample coverage for a, a pond body, its size and its depth being considered. And then we'll be able to air, uh, lay out the airlines properly so we can estimate how much of that component you're going to need to complete the systems and with all that information we can quote everything out pretty much right down to the dollar so aerial mapping is extremely useful for any large body of water that you're looking to aerate so I would encourage you to get in touch with us if you have any questions on any of these solar aerators or you need help with your pond aeration in any way shape or form be sure to get in touch with us at AmericanAeration.com I'd be happy to help and for now I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.